Ladies and gentlemen, there is a new guaranteed champion event going on and there is a new promo code for Christmas. I'm gonna walk you through both of them right now. There's 150 ancient shards needed. On your 150th ancient shard, you're gonna be getting a bonus legendary called Gamorin. Okay, so let's actually take a look at him and see what we think about him. Now we're gonna go the Shadowkin here. He is a support spirit affinity and I I think personally some of the most well done art I've ever seen in this game. I love the robes, love the color palette, the weapon looks good. There's a lot of minute detail in it as well. I mean, even down to just the little engravings. Phenomenal job, whoever worked on this one art-wise. I know you probably won't see this video, but if for some reason it gets back to you, I think you should be proud about your job you did on this hero. Let's get in here into the abilities. So the basic ability does a block active skill that will be on a 50% chance per hit, and he does hit twice, so you can see how it will land a good amount of the time. The A2 is going to be fairly simple. It is 100% chance when booked on a three turn cooldown, and what it is going to do is steal one random buff from each enemy, akin to what Madame Ceres does. Now, after stealing, it will apply a buff spread. It takes that buff and then puts it on all allies. I think buff spread is something that is not really used that often and I'm pretty excited about that one. Now it is a random buff that is spread so if you steal a buff and it's the only buff it will spread that one but if you have defense up or something and then you steal one buff you have a 50% chance of each. Now going here moving on cannot target dead or living enemies. Okay if the target is dead places a block revive on them then attacks all enemies. Each enemy will receive damage equal to 20% of the target enemy's max HP. If the target is a boss minion, the damage is equal to 20% of this champion's max HP. This attack cannot be critical and will ignore shield buffs and 100% of each target's defense. So that's what's gonna happen if they are dead. Excuse me, it's can target dead or a living enemy. The rest of them really wouldn't make much sense with it. So effectively, there's two moves built into this. If someone's dead, you're gonna be hitting all the other enemies and doing the one I just read. However, if they're alive, you're gonna be hitting them, placing a true debuff fear on them and for two turns and then healing all your allies, 20% of the target enemies max HP. If the target's a boss or boss minion, the healing is equal to 20% of this champion's max HP. The true fear debuff buff cannot be resisted. Not being able to be resisted is pretty good. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter when you can't really land it on bosses. I do believe that this is a very hard hitting move because it ignores 100% of the target's defense and it also ignores shield buffs. So you can use your logic to figure out where that would be good. Now here, if you look here, one turn cooldown when booked revives one random ally with 30% HP and 30% turn meter each time an enemy is killed. You get a little bit of a whack-a-mole thing. I actually really, really, really like this hero. I don't know that he's particularly like game changing or anything like that, but I think he's very unique, a well-designed kit. And uh, I just think he's fun. Personally, I just think he's fun. Um, now, if we look at the reviews in game, this is what people in game say about him. He's probably better than his review show, and he's probably one of these people that is gonna require good gear to be good, but I, I do find him very interesting. So if you are thinking about opening 150 Ancient Shards for it, I can understand that. It's not the worst idea ever currently, and it won't reset your pity if you give it on the 150th. Keep that in mind. So with that being said, there is a new promo code currently. Okay, about the promo code, there is this promo code that was an advertisement that was able to be found online. Raid Xmas 21 will give you 10 of these white potions, okay? So it's not really much of a promo code, and it literally only works for new players from what I understand, okay? But this is the latest this promo code that's out there. I want to show you one other one, just in case this works, this QR code here. Check this out, get a free Vergus. So this is another one of these QR codes. You get Vergus, you get like an ancient shard, yada, yada. From what I understand, this QR code, if you actually scan it, will make a new account. And then it's sort of like I got a Jolton when I started my new account yesterday. This one instead will give you this as the bonus. I've seen a number of these. There's a Vergus one, a Rector Draft one, and I got the Jolton one. So if someone wants to give that a try, I suppose you could try scanning that there. 
pretty much that simple. Uh, Jilton was the hero I got, so good luck. See if the promo code works. Try making a new account if you want to try one. Vergus would be a pretty hilarious hero to start with, to be honest. He's not exactly an underdog like I'm doing with this season, which is why I'm going with Jilton, but he is a good one, and I wanted to let you know that you can start with him if you want to. So, love y'all. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button for me, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.